Uh, not landing on that one is actually pretty bad. We didn't get armor break on you, which is also kind of bad. And you using your skills, also pretty bad. That's quite the sequence of pretty bad. And then you proccing is also pretty bad. Okay, nice start, nice start. <laughs> nice start, nice start. Good thing uh, that happens at the start. Yeah, that makes life a little bit easier. Mm, T-Bunny because of the reset. I like the T-Bunny for resets. This before here as well. I didn't ruin up my Grogan team in this case. Didn't want to. Could have done it, but decided not to. This team pretty much clears the, all the same shit anyways. We lose that against that. Yeah, we totally could. Went the global server while you're in Cyprus. Ah, yeah, the time zones really do suck, yeah. Actually, with taking the shield in account, well, I would have taken, gotten the shield anyways. Wow, there was no armor break on this, and this we cleared while. Not sure how much CR is actually on you. 25 is a little bit on the. This is a little bit too much, actually. But I don't think I can switch that any fast. Maybe if there's a uh, prepared on the slot too, then I can switch. Otherwise I can't probably switch. Because you are at a very specific speed. It does not have prepared on this one. I could do that. Yeah, these are positions I can't. These two I can't remove. Why is it again 195 on double fight? <laughs> Wait, I easily outspeed the widget as well. Okay, not the worst as of yet. Not armor breaking the dawn is kind of worse. But just a little bit. Okay, the guardian ranks already. Uh, I think we can do this. Is it doable? Yeah, I just one shot the Rakan. And the fight is kind of over. Oh, wait, you're still not fully tuned. So it seems. Wait, then you're actually fully tuned. Wait, did I. S Switch. No, I didn't give you the Gagoons yet. Ah. You're gonna do no damage, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that that thing has runes, but I didn't give it the good runes yet. That is true. Wait, I thought I did. No, there's no way it does that damage with me giving in the runes. No, you would absolutely do more than that. I think I looked at it and then and I didn't apply. Yeah, that's absolutely not what you want to see.
Grizzly have a lot of these 29s ish things. Oh, wait, that's on you. That's not right. Okay, then I have to steal that, I guess. Which kind of need it. Please, they will be the place. And I just have to put some whatever the hell we want on there. That looks good. Yeah, exactly. Some half broken fight set or a bio set on him or whatever it was. The Davi I don't. Beep beep. Time is it for you? Currently it is 9.21 in the PM. Can a cookie miss death break? Yes he can. Yes he can. Mm, I'm scared that I would proc a belly of fast. No one. As the rush of power pretty much just started. Yeah, it's good for the reset of some math and that kind of shit, yeah. Or also just as safety precautions, like if you don't land an armor break, at least got it reset. Like for example, this one, it would start doing annoying skills right now and healing and stuff like that if it wasn't dead. Then the uh, reset is nice. Plus the skill too is pretty strong as well. If something is full attack bar and you land that thing, it does a lot of damage. New tech? Yeah, so far I haven't used too much Sonya stuff yet. We still have the Sonya stuff rolling as well. Wait, that was without a tech buff? Yeah, it was. Love it straight through the Camilla passive. What well, artifact is good for Leia? Uh, combination lines. Speed increaser, attack increaser, crit damage is up. Also against uh, this thing, it's very good to simply increase his scroll time. So even if he gets a turn, he's not gonna do annoying shit too much. Like this, the skill. Ah, it was resisted. That's a weird thing, like the damage part can be resisted if you don't push back. Is that any good? It's not too bad, but I think we would hella outspeed it. Probably clap it. Also, Leia is very good against these uh, Young Chol things. She just does an insane amount of damage. So, Dushit, how are you doing? I think you revive right most, right? Yep, okay, that's not as bad as reviving the other one. Resistance. Okay, now we're gonna see your damage. Hey, look at that, not bad, right? It's a 
berserk high then. No, I had to proc out of that. With some damage to Chew, Chew has damage. It's just not that much. Wait, right, is that crit? That's crit. Motherfucker. And we are rank 17. Yeah, that's why starting rush that early, like for the people that are wondering why is the rush shorter this time. It's not that interesting on the hard reset week to start rushing this early, like super early, from what I've noticed. Uh, against that one, I think. Meld more Camillas with Light Trist today. Nice, nice. Resist the Mundo. Ah, uh, not resist the Mundo on those other two things though. I did max skill him actually, just for this team. And I think I'll use him in other places later as well, so I was like, oh, might as well just max skill it. Plus, unless I get an LD5, there's nothing I want to double him on anyways. And that's why this whole team is on underdress. Nyx is so fake. Nyx is actually pretty decent. It's just too hard to do all of this shit when all of the units just debuff all the time. Like, then you become fake. No damage. Yeah, this whole team is underdressed, so there's nothing that they, these units are gonna do ever. And that's where we drop a few points as well. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now we could also totally do these with it. Jasmine is on damage build? No. Just just build in damage from skill 2 from absorbing shit. Uh, provoking on you would have been cool. Rika's good in the dot team? Correct. I use it with either uh, this thing, kind of depends like how I want to hit it, but both are good. I have either the Mukwong or I have the Rika, I have both of them ruined. But this thing is pretty good as well. Now I have a max skill, he does have like a lot more activation rate than what he had before. It's not the same that makes this team good. You don't need a same for this. Well, against the Giselle, maybe, but you could put like Rika in here actually. Like, especially in this one. Right, Rika is somewhere over here, right? You can simply do this as well. I find Gerald is an option, but I think Rika is better. But it is recommended to have this whole team 100 dress. Like, you don't care as much about accuracy, you care more for just 100 dress. I would rather use a train than I would use a fire Gerald actually. Fire Devil Maiden? I'm not sure how good she does, but I think you can. 
And of course you need all of them on 15 crit, right? So they don't crit Camillus. Uh, he's bad. He's bad on base stats. Like he's super squishy. He has way too much attack base stats for a unit that doesn't really do uh, his main damage with attacks. In my opinion. Could we one shot this with you? No, I think that's too tricky. I would say a Ganymede instead of the Rika would be an option here too. Nice additional turn, instead of killing yourself. Tomoe is also definitely an option, yep. The only issue is Tomoe you push back and therefore it takes longer because you don't give them the chance to take turns. Which is a little bit worse, I guess in that sense. Currently using Maxi Tiana, Isis Tiana and AO. Um, it's good if it lands, I guess. Oh, whoops. Misclick. <laughs> nice, no damage. So yeah, for the person that was saying I need a same for this team, you don't. Like, sure, she helps. She makes things a lot safer, but do you need it? Nah. How's the wings today? Pretty good, pretty good so far. Dotting some people pretty badly. Oh, that a crit. Don't you wanna be free like a wall? Now you can't even land the shit. Flowing on the river side. Just don't crit. Nice. True, with Dark Triss, uh, you don't need all of that shit. That's very true. Alright, well, we still got 26 minutes on the clock. That's good, that's good. Uh, the Pontus RNG is kicking in. Well, if you kill everything but the Pontus, it's not an issue as well. Oh, wait, or just kill the Pontus straight in that. That's also totally fine. Absolutely planned. Fuck was that Pontus and M? But yeah, I think Dark Triss uh, can work for Cleaves too, yeah. Okay, getting hit quite a bunch. Let's. Change it up. Don't you wanna be free like a waterfall? People can enjoy uh, that one. On the river side, places you don't have to hide. Yeah, true. First Camilla's maybe not as great, that's true. Breathe in life 
Okay, at least you're increased for one turn. It's just one turn, it's kind of the issue. Right, if you outspeed, oh, it would have been awesome if you outspeed there. Oh, we can clear that with the other guy. Oh, Jesus. The moment that Byungjo is lower on HP, you do tend to hit him quite a lot. Okay, interesting. Wait, do I even have a proper boost in this? No, so this is fine. Debun, you can hit so hard. True. Okay, uh, I think I can get away with just doing skill 3. And then this. This. Actually, for this, this one I do like the same, I want more. I think. No, I think I could have still done it all with Rika, actually. It doesn't really change too much. You can also place a Hey Gang on this spot, it's also pretty good. But then I would use that more against Clara teams. Against Clara teams, I would put a Hey Gang in there. Yeah, it would be nice if they have a bar indicator for uh, normal stuff as well, not just RTA. And these things do no damage. Leo Lucifer? Uh, I don't think so. It's probably uh, Tiana Neftis. But then Tiana Neftis with. Uh, could I actually clear this? Like this? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say probably Tiana Neftis with. Uh, oh, what's it called? With a talisman. Question is now, is two on this to kill? Yep, I think so. That's mm, maybe not as great. Maybe I should have went S3 actually on you. Yeah, I think S3 on you would have actually done more. Okay, nice stuns, I guess. is gonna stall me for just a little bit that's probably all he's good for Young Hong Talisman, interesting. Wow, did we just get a lot of... <laughs> okay, um... I think my current defense kind of works. I was like, yo, why did I climb so many points? Oh, that's the reason. That is the reason, apparently. What are you running? I'm running the Nigong Double Camilla with um, Seime. I upgraded the runes a bit and made it more annoying. Uh, people do definitely like to hit it, which is not always the greatest. Uh, is this killable? It is outspeedable, but less interesting for dot team and such.
Maybe you swap before people went in. Could be, could be. This one's later. Yeah, this defense does trigger a lot of people that they want to hit it. Okay, interesting. That thing does heal, but I heal better. What if I'm Rift Beast to not have to interact with it too much? Why is this thing never stripping on the S2 though? It's funny how dots through this thing does actually still hit me, whereas normally same if we counters it. Chris is rushing. Nice. I haven't seen him rush in a while. Uh, this thing. Would it be some kind of Nam trap-ish? Probably. Yes. I don't think I really want to give that a try. Mm, this is fairly doable as well. In this case, I do think I would go for Rika with it. Most of the time when people use this, they don't have damage Camillas anyways. Oh fuck, I have glancing it through that thing. I'm very happy if you hit the Nora. Keep hitting the Nora. You literally get stacks from it, man. And that's how to pretty fast deal with hardest team. <laughs> I, I got up to the point where she couldn't take the additional turn even though she slept. That is hard thing to do. That's legit a hard thing to do. What's this? That is totally doable as well, is it not? Uh, yeah, it is. It's just the help. As I have to land the heal block on the help as at some point. That's all. Oh wait, against this I should use Seimei. I'm inting. Because Giselle, I definitely want to use Seimei because of the protection. Yeah. Wait, now. Ah, uh, fuck. This is going to be bad. I'm going to be taking ages to kill that Giselle actually. Okay, yeah, we have to get some strips in in this case. Okay, yeah, that's not really great. That one got wrecked though. Okay, if we stun the Giselle, life is uh, good. Okay, you are not under raid right now, which is bad. Okay, it might be that. No, wait. We still need heal block. Heal block. Bruh. Okay, 
Wait, there's so many buffs I can't heal block in a second if I get more. Come on, heal block. Bro, I only need heal block. You're just landing dots. Heal block. Nice. Now match is over in two more turns of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there were so many yeah, debuffs that he just got reduced to 1 HP. Oh wow, this guy is super high up. Yep, we definitely keep farming those like this. Uh, I think that this team is actually fine. Is Sat skilled? Yep. Hmm, actually lands a lot. Still, we don't care. And that's how to easily dot probably one of the stronger teams in the game. Ran into Junos yet? No, I haven't yet. No, I have not. Really not better than Rika there. No, I think Rika would actually. Uh, if they do have heals, it is okay to use Doki, but in the end, Rika is pretty legit as well. I'm actually not sure if S2 or S3 has a better chance of stripping at the for you. <laughs> You're skilled by sleeping, bro. But it's best to actually save the S4 for when they have some dots already. But this just shows like how easy this dot team is. Like you notice in the early stages it was very much I could cleave all of these things. But in this stage it's just easier to dot all of these guys because there's no chance of me losing. More or less. Uh, I don't hit guildies, I don't hit um, friends, that's the main two things actually. But there's no real like rules what can or can't you hit in most cases. Uh, first of Bionjo, I definitely do uh, like this. Is Jet your friend? No, but most of the time I don't really hit him too much because we just get into revenge wars. It depends. It also depends like if he's high up or not. Like if he's high up, I'll definitely hit him. Baseball bat in your face. Leo Nigong double Camilla defense. Not sure if that's good or bad. Feels like something you could, Christina. Uh, no, the Rika is actually despair. Oh, that's why I get quite a bunch of hits.
Pre-nerf despair? Wait, what do you mean pre-nerf despair? Ooh, Chris is pretty high up. I like that team. Wow, your gazelle's out of tune. Oh, that's done. That's done. Well, you would take a skill two first anyway, so you kill yourself. Haha. Uh ah uh, no a little bit of hp <laughs> yeah. uh, i thought it would die i thought it would die i done Started dropping quite a bunch, getting hit quite a bunch. So good night, man. Good luck in tourney tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. showing the videos uh, all all of the stuff that I did in tourney after the tourney Good luck in finals. We're not there yet. We first have to beat the uh, squad zero. You know what would be really good with those kind of teams? Asima. I think Asima would do literally insane on those teams. I don't have too much speed anyways. Shouldn't be afraid of Lydia. But if you put an Asima in this instead of a Rika, it's so much better. Yeah, okay, true. She would crit Camillas, that's true. Only against non-Camilla teams. True, true. But this one, there are a few non-Camilla teams, but yeah, fair point, fair point. Just outspeed and nearly kill the whole thing. I think so. Well, thank you, yeah, Vanessa. You definitely do see on those kind of uh, HPs. You. Yeah. It's one way to clean up a team. This is guaranteed crit, right? 
58. <laughs> well, you were talking about 57k. That thing just hit a casual 58. Would I be able to clear the Rakan if it goes mental? Uh, I think so. It's a little bit late to start trying out things, uh, but... I think it is fine. Mm, that's too bad, actually. Okay, I hope you go on you. That's better for me. Okay, this was kind of a risk hit. Was tankier than I expected. Mm, Lagmron has uh, speed awakening. It's a lot better. Lagmron is 110 base. Whereas the other thing is uh, nothing. Ah, uh, rips. That will make this fight last a little longer. Just a little. That horse 100 rest or what? A lot of mistrips. True, true. The, well, you can also say that she doesn't have like a perfect uh, strip in the first place, but just skill activation. It's not the best. A bunch of wins into a bunch of loses. Galtnir is actually a lot more tricky. Well, I only have 50 something seconds left. That's not much. I have to look for some kind of cleave. Uh, that's a bad cleave for me, maybe in here. Why can I not find like any chill cleaves? Most of them have like chill cleaves to hit. Okay, I wasted my time here finding something. Yeah, if I go in here right now, it's uh, gonna be too late anyways. A bunch that I could hit, but not fast enough towards my liking. This could have been such an easy hit, I gotta go in. Well, Camilla would have taken longer, but if I found this like a minute ago, I would have definitely been able to clear it. Yep, doesn't count. So we didn't get farmed down at the end. What? I got farmed down to G1? Really, bro? Larry, because I couldn't find that last match, I got farmed down to G1. I was G3 for pretty much the whole fucking hour. Yeah, it is possible if you get like a whole bunch of hits at the end. But yeah, that's lame. Wait, we saw Vayne at the top and he ended like P3. Man, like the soft reset weeks, or the, the hard reset weeks are so bad in Europe, man. It's, you literally get like one or two offense hits and it's just fucked. But I had like a decent spot even in uh, G3. Yeah, EU is really nuts. I had that last week for like, uh, well, that's also why I think that like this time I rushed 45 minutes, me rushing another like 15 minutes doesn't help. I think in the soft reset week, I should probably just rush for like 30 minutes, like more than 30 minutes rush is kind of wasted anyways.
But yeah, it's so hard to find like good defenses uh, these days. I think the only thing that kind of works with defense right now is Giselle. Anything else seems to be uh, getting farmed. 20 minutes might be enough. Well, the thing is, if you get like super hard farmed from the start, where you start climbing, then it might be rough. Any new LDs to summon? No, we did have one LD, but we already do it. Okay, let's show the rooms. Giselle because it has perfect eye on the S3 and uh, Invis is just annoying for a lot of people to deal with So yeah, I actually do notice I use the Sonya teams to climb fast at the start But a lot of people have been countering the Sonya so The Sonyas that I've been using they're no longer as great for the offenses I definitely notice it's a lot based on the dot team like, I think I just only need the dot team, more or less. Like, the dot team and the Leia team. I think I clear, like, most of it with just that. And I use this team somewhat as well. In this case, this was a quite swift. This was full damage. I might actually put highest damage I have on you. Instead of uh, going for Sonya's. This was a... I do have the option to go 30 and 30 right now. So, because of that, I can make a 195. Whereas, this one is only 25. And then this thing is, I up the crit rate. Last time I had like 25 crit rate just for the squad, but now I have a little bit more for lightning as well. It is still 15 of max, but it's max on right element. And then the, this is the Shimite, it was also pretty hard hitting. But if I would not put the runes on the Sonya, I think uh, next siege, I'm gonna focus all of the runes on like this one, this one, and this one. Because the best runes are currently on these units, which I actually use the least. So the Sonyas were pretty good, but a lot of things have been countering the Sonyas with Beyond Chill. Like, you can already not use this team the moment that there's a Beyond Chill. And then for the dot team, it's pretty easy. It's just 100 resistance fast. Uh, the, the, the 100 resistance fast. 100 resistance fast. Tanky. And then this thing, you kind of got the idea. Uh, near to 100 resistance, also fast. Yeah, I think I'll definitely go for not using those teams at all next time. I chose for it not to use this team, so I didn't use Neftis at all in this um, stuff. I think Neftis is still a nice offense, but it's very hard to fit in a Neftis when they have a Triton 33 lead. And it's very hard to fit in a Neftis when they have... Um, a lot of Camillas because in the end even a 15 crit rate Neftis is bound to crit at some point on Camillas. I could do faster on the fight actually. Wait. You, you want to see a real fast fight set? Oh, let me show you. Uh, the, the, the... Pretty sure this would be yeah this is going to be a lot faster. How about a 199 double fight set? Did you secure G3? No, I ended in G1. I think I'm edge G1 to G2. I did get in a bunch of hits at the end. Like, I think I got the hit like six times in the last minute or so. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.